a problem I kept on running into when I was driving to a job site or when I was at a job site servicing a vehicle is when a potential customer calls me up and you know we have to talk for five minutes or so so if I'm driving on the road then I kind of have to pull over because I can talk yes but I can't get any information down from the potential customer or if I'm on a job site I have to stop doing what I'm doing go to my car, get a legal pad or a piece of paper, and try to jot down notes. And yes, you can get a piece of paper, write the notes down, get the information, but a lot of times when I go back and review that paper, I'd, I'd sometimes scribble it too much where I can't really understand what I wrote, or I can't see, I don't remember exactly what I wrote because there's so many different writings on that piece of paper. So what I did was I created a customer form for me to use while I'm driving or while I'm at the job site. More specifically, this is exactly how it looks. It just has basic information from their first name, last name, their phone number, their address. This one's for me because I'm mobile. I have three forms that you can download from the link description down below. It's gonna be one for your, if you're shop based, one if you're mobile but don't carry your own water or electricity. And the last one is if you're mobile and you do carry your own power and water. So, you know, depending on what type of business you have, you can get one of these forms, download it, and then use it. And again, it's just a lot easier to use instead of looking for a piece of paper because obviously you just need to fill out the information on the paper and then you know you got everything that you needed. Now, one thing you'll notice is that this is actually laminated and not just a sheet of paper. And that's very key because instead of having to print out 10, 15, 20 sheets of paper and having to recycle them or keep track of them, you can laminate it and simply use a dry erase marker to just write down the information. Once you get back to your office, to your house, to the warehouse, then just uh, get the information down, transfer it over to your whatever application or to another notebook or an Excel spreadsheet or a Google sheet, whatever you store your information and then just erase this off and you're good to go to use it tomorrow. You don't have to print out another paper. It's nicely organized, so that's why it's laminated as well. And this is gonna help you out a lot because instead of having to think about what information you needed, you just look at it, you run through your little checklist, say, okay, can I get your first name, can I get your last name, can I get your phone number, you know, can I get your address, if there's a gate code to it. So this all kind of helps you walk through the process to make sure that you're not forgetting any information. Just like everything else, the form only works if you make it work, so actually print it out actually laminated and laminating is key you don't just want a flimsy piece of paper you do want to laminate it buy a clipboard or something to put a to, to use as a as a backing plate to it to write better and definitely get a dry erase marker so you can you know write it down erase it and then have it good to go and you only need about two or three depending on how many phone calls you get per day um, because again at the end of the day you're gonna get home your office transfer that information to whatever application and then you can erase it off that sheet and then you're good to go. Now just to explain the form a little bit more, uh, these boxes here is for your services. Now I left them blank because obviously everyone's gonna have different services. Some may offer packages, some may offer sing, uh, standalone services. So I gave you some wiggle room there. So what I would do here is just put the initials of the service or package. Don't try to write it all the way out because it's not really gonna fit. Now if you have something like Adobe Acrobat, uh, I, I'm sure you can edit it. Um, but I actually did this on Keynote. Uh, which is why I wanted to kind of leave it kind of generalized so whoever's using it can kind of custom fit it. So what I would do is put your initials here, uh, the initials of the service or the package here. And then as far as the price that you're going to give them, you can either write it here down in the note section or as you're writing down, as you're checking off what service they want, then simply just draw a little line and, and, and squish in the, the price that you quoted them as well. Um, that's what I was doing. I, I just squeezed in the price because I don't really know how to set it, how to set the price because there's so many, you know, uh, variation in what price you're going to give out on the size, condition, the detail. Um, so all that good stuff. So I, I, I wanted to leave you guys some wiggle room into in what to put exactly on this form. And you definitely want to pay attention to the source. So where are these customers coming from? Uh, because if you're not tracking where they're coming from, then you're potentially losing out on a lot of customers because if you for some reason see that you know you're thinking most of your customers are coming from either word of mouth or Google and then you find out that most of them are coming through Yelp then that means maybe you could do a little more activity on Yelp to kind of boost up your rankings in the search of Yelp and get more customers so this is very important to make sure you fill it out you ask them how they heard about you so you just keep track again you do want to transfer all the information over to like another uh, CRM or something to just keep track of what you're doing. Again, check the description box free to download 
those customer forms. There's three of them, so try to use the one that fits best towards your situation. Leave your comments down below for any other type of checklist or guides or forms that you'd want me to create for you. Because I'm always trying to create stuff to give to you guys so you can obviously be more efficient in the field or just use it somehow in your business. So check that description box down below. Leave a comment, like this video, and I'll see you on the next video.